what's up, Yens guys? Time for another video. And I'm going to do another video here, uh, even though it's going to revisit what I was actually uh, showing uh, about a particular uh, troll, you know what I mean? But for sake of argument, because this person coincidentally did a video at the same time. Well, not at the same time, just today. Talking about how these trolls are narcissists, whether it's online or offline, have no... I don't want to change her words, but no sense of self, no sense of direction. And I'm saying that because this is very ballpark. Uh, I'm going to use maybe her title or whatever, too. Because this is, this is okay, a ballpark thing that I was accusing this person of, and I was using them as an example, and I was going to do a video like this anyway, and she gave me the excuse. And uh, before anybody tries to say, oh, I'm thin-skinned, and, uh, and that's why I'm doing it, or I'm, oh, wow, wow, or I'm so offended. No, it's not the case, you know. Uh, so, like, uh, bear with me here. Uh, first of all, I was saying, too, about a particular person I made an argument with. And, uh, well, there was other YouTubers that I look at also that say why, well, there's both of many races. Well, that's why I'm using this thing as an example. And for one thing, I look at YouTubers of many races, and both one white guy and one black gentleman. The black gentleman says, uh, for example, he said in a video too, which I agree with him on this too, uh, you cannot have a, a conversation or argument with a crackhead or a pothead or something. And then there's a white dude called Odin's Men, but he has some other YouTube, YouTube channels called Something's Travels, saying, uh, about how these cringy, you know, TikTokers is one example. You can't have a conversation or argument with them for whatever reasons, whether drug-related or goofy-ass ideals. But then, and I want to say, in parentheses too, to be fair, whether you're far left or far right, whether it's the, on the political or racial uh platforms that are so far this way or so far that way and then if you're anywhere in between you question and my argument is if you question anything uh, you're some kind of asshole or whatever the hell but then the ones that are a little bit uh, less knowledgeable they have no sense of self in their own they have no sense of their uh, beliefs of anything that they even answer your fucking question right um, this reason being that, say, I don't want to, whether you're black or white or whether you're far left or far right, um, and putting in parentheses that there are certain people that are what I call the unwoke YouTubers of other races that I actually subscribe to and spread around out of spite for these people. But, uh, and I'm going to talk about how this started, okay, did I, you know how you post a video or you post a video short, right? But then you can, YouTube has this thing now how well you, just like, you know, Facebook or Instagram, you have these um, status thingies. You type either something humorous or sarcastic or whether it's religious or to make fun of a religion or political, make fun of a particular side or other or, but anyway, how this started to, uh, in parenthesis too, that I'm rambling. That's another thing too, the rambling card, you know, where this person accused me of, quote, rambling like a psycho about serial killers and about things. But the quote I put on this status, like you have the YouTube thing, instead of Facebook status or Instagram status, instead of posting pictures, you can post a picture of something, or you just type something. Well, I, well, I type something that I consider a fact. Not against anybody, any particular person or party. Well, he didn't accuse me. I'm surprised. He didn't even accuse me of anything as far as being anything uh, against anything political or racial. But he says, oh yeah, you're getting crazier every day. He didn't. I'll give him the fact that he, he didn't say anything about cute. He didn't try to gaslight like me as a racist like some people do. 
whether it's a white left format. And, but, he goes sarcastic. Oh, wow. Uh, there's several different people. You're a fucking genius. And, but he didn't answer any of my questions. Well, this, well, all he did was call me crazy. I could have just said thank you for the compliment and left it at that. But every once in a while, you'll ask a particular person or a troll, see if they answer you back, and say, by what authority do you say this? By what moral platform? What um, ide ideology do you uh, subscribe to, to tell me? But then this person, well, they call you crazy. I think these people that call you crazy and they think that they're totally sane or whatever. It's like, who are you calling crazy? You wouldn't know what crazy was if Charles Manson was eating Fruit Loops on your front porch. All right, I took that from one of my favorite songs and one of my favorite bands, you know what I mean? I couldn't resist, but, um, anyway, yeah. And to pause for a second, yeah, you just heard that quote, if you know where I got that from. More power to you, I say awesome to you. <laughs> but I love that, I mean, that's what I should have used on him. I should have said, oh, you wouldn't know what crazy was if Charles Manson was eating fruit loops on your front porch. So, um, I'm just, you're asking by what authority and he don't answer me, right? The guy has no sense of self. And my argument, if you're still with me on here too, is unlike other people that they tell you right away what they are, what religion, whether they're, they're religious, non-religious, they're some kind of whatever cult, are they far left or far right, or are they, uh, or whatever the hell. Um, some of them do not answer you and they have, they don't have this sense of self or any real, if they had any even, um, so, like some morons do, a particular political side or racial side or gender politics style, they're usually arrogant as fuck and give you a word salad. But this, this guy didn't even give you no kind of such a word salad like that. And when they do that shit and don't answer you, unlike some of the other ones, like they got to consult with their little friends first uh, in their st other stupid little channels that act just like the same mature, immature child that they are, that are just like them. And that's why they don't really answer you back. And my argument too is, to not even be biased here, okay? Whether you're real far right or real far left or whatever gender politics or whatever the, they subscribe to, some of these people, it's not just far left or far right or, or whatever gender politics, right? There are substandards that they get so substandard and so subcategorized in the belief system or whoever boots they're licking, that they literally got to consult with these little friends because they, they themselves don't uh, know if they're going to piss off their little friends if they answer me back. And that they're afraid that I, they, I, they know I'm the type that'll not just make a video to make myself look like a nut. I'll take a picture of the comment, right? Rather than uh, just talk about one reason so... so anybody, whether they care about what I'm saying or not, so they know who the fuck we're talking about with the comment. I like to show a picture of it. And these people do not want that because of a... they don't have no content on their channel either. And maybe I'm guessing here, this could be a guess, but maybe they don't want their little friends seeing a comment that I take a picture of and see me arguing with them, right? Because, I don't know, maybe they go crying to their little friends, or maybe they're afraid of, of, they're afraid if they go crying to their little friends, and they come on the video, or any of my, my other videos, and harass me in his name. And, oh, they see the person's answer to me, and maybe, what if they get offended? Maybe these people don't like me anyway, either. But, they uh, say they get a friend. Uh, they get offended by what this person answers me, and it's not entirely kosher with their criteria. I mean, 
Uh, I don't care what kind, what race you are, what kind of person you are, if there's too many subcategories of the rules, then you better just stay the hell away from them. Oh, and while I was in this video, too, if you got this far in this video, the quote I said, if you're wondering out, that that's what I should have said in the first place, if you're still with me, the quote that sparked out, the thing I put in the status, was, this is the quote, I'll show it to you, and I'll tell you what it is, it is, uh, too. Um, and, and I'll tell you what I really could have added to it. I did, I argued that I could, could have added a particular quote to it for the good. And I'll argue, well, it could be a standalone quote, the quote that I mentioned, or the other quote I add, that they could stand alone, maybe not. But I actually said, quote, um, okay, I said, white people uh, got um, Ted Bundy, uh, black, black people got Edward Surratt, and gay people got um, Jeffrey Dahmer. And, well, there's another guy from England who was similar to Jeffrey Dahmer, did thing, right? And then I said, how's that for equality for you? But, just because I say that, I also mean, well, each of these parties, some are smarter than the others, and they're equal and good, too. Uh, there, you can probably find some people that did something good and maybe had some hey every race has a common good that they did too somebody did something good and then me and this troll too probably have different opinions on these parties about things that are good the things that I think that might have been that if I pick a particular person black white or even gay that I that I would say that I would praise for being good might be totally different than his versions of what goods probably uh, far left, uh, extremely biased leftist shit. Not that I condone any of the extreme right side, the extreme right either political side, which is also the extreme left and extreme right can be very biased as hell in all of one thing. And then everybody, a lot of people's shit is very one-sided. But I'm thinking this person has no sense of self. There is a one-side bias, right? I'd show you a book I have in that I just got in my free library um, hall, too, about media bias. You know what I mean, too? Uh, but I'm thinking the problem with some of these people say that they have a bias uh, about something you're saying. He didn't have a problem with something I was saying. Nobody else gave a shit, you know what I mean? I got a couple likes on it, right? And if any of you guys watching that saw it, maybe you would have, probably have a better question to ask me what I mean, or maybe you just scroll by and write in, uh, oh, you know what I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. You didn't compliment, you didn't comment on it. You didn't see nothing wrong with either, and maybe a few of you too that kind of, you know, not sure if you like me or not, or you're on the fence might be saying something under your breath. Well, guess what? That's life. That's, I, tell, I argue with this person. That's fucking free speech. Okay, yeah, and I tell him, okay, I'm not being butthurt or anything. You're, if in case your delusional self says I'm butthurt about something and I'm against your free speech, I said, yeah, you have every right. Hey, you want to trash me and be one-sided in your thing and say that? You're free to do so, but I'm free to question you. And if you have any questions for me, you're free to do that. That's called free speech. And I'm like, who in the uh, bloody hell are, are you to tell me what I can and can't say and can and can't th and think? And if you think it's wrong and you think it's, quote, rambling like a psycho about serial killers, and that's all you got on me, without... It's not that, oh, I am so offended, not at all. And if any of his... Um, little friends are watching this too. That's the free speech thing, right? It's not that uh, I'm saying you can't say whatever you want even though I don't like it, right? But I also have the right in the free speech too to not deny you your right to be a total half-wit or 
total one-sided uh, uh, dickwad, so to speak. But uh, if I ask, I have the right, just like you, me, to ask, well, what moral platform, what authority do you have? Is it your little friend somewhere? And even if it's what your little friends say so, what ideology they have. Is it a communist daddy? Is it a religion? Is it a pseudo-religion? Is it an anti-religion? Is it a some weird cult, some kind of way? Is it some, uh, okay, communist, narco-communist, like uh, uh, academia type uh got pals, there's uh, buddies associated with that, that you've got to discuss it with your committee first. I want to know what it is. And it can't, and if you avoid any of my questions there and answer it with uh, when I ask you what moral platform do you represent uh, and ask you do you have a manifesto published on a website or your channel which I don't see. Do you have a rule book? Do you have a manifesto that I can look at that I could download? I'm being sarcastic too, but if you do have a manifesto, humor me. I want to see it! So, uh, the delusion of anybody wants to think about saying thin-skinned, I think that that's, uh, they're talking about their projecting uh, something on their selves onto you, which, like my friend that uh, I'm responding to this is, that I'm talking these examples to, to, I agree with her, in the argument that she's saying that these people don't have no real direction. Occasionally you get some troll that'll talk, argue back and forth to you, and be masters of a dead pan reply, but a lot of them will avoid your questions too, and take these cheap ass shots, and not really articulate, not really inquisitive at all, just a bunch of word salads, and if, if they were talking to you to your face, that'd be the type in a workplace or ones you went to school with that right mid-sentence, they yell over top of you. Or like some of our parents or certain relatives did, that, oh, don't get, all it is is don't get smart with me, or somebody you went to school with or work with, or you're on the street there, um, they got some pseudo Mr. King of the Streets backing up. Don't get smart with me or I'll beat your ass. Who, who the fuck you think? They'll, they'll be like, who the fuck you think you are? I'll kick, kick your ass or they'll yell over top of you. And the only thing they got is if they can't put their hands on you for something you say or yell over top of you, the, uh, they surround themselves with uh, whoever the hell um, some kind of... Uh, group that they want to get after you like that my made a sarcastic argument too that it ties in there the character of these people where you find these people also will say for ex will believe for example in an extreme you know not that I'm sticking up for the police this is a part of an example right I had a bad experience with the, with the police one time too so I'm not sticking up the police here but but these people's character would be like just because the cops did something cause them as a down with the police, raise our fist in the air, but down with the police, death to the police, cancel, defund the police, raise your fist in the air, down with the police, but um, hail to Mr. King of the Streets, which uh, do away with the police that uh, Mr. King of the Streets and his uh, buddies. If you piss these people off, right, that... Um, uh, Mr. King of the Streets and his pals, they don't have no problem with these people coming in the car the same way a police car comes up with you and threatens violence. Me and them have different positions on police brutality, right? But yet, almost the same and similar. But they'll give you these, they'll make his face at you or uh, get all, even get all mad or either roll their eyes or yell over top of you when you say, for example, okay, if your buddies, Mr. King of the Streets, that you like so much, in your marches or whatever, if you or me piss them off, they can come up to you in a in a car and do the same brutality on you as the police. They want to do away with the police, but yet these same ones of these character, right? Uh, 
uh, different one, they all get stoned together or whatever the hell, and they don't like the police, but they want to be the thought police. The character of a person like a troll like this will speak to me this kind of way. Uh, he wants to be the thought police, tell me what I can and can't say, but will some of them, give or take, will indicate that, okay, they can get a bunch of their buddies to come and beat you up, maybe drive by in a car. If it's not, it's not a police car, but they can come up with, I don't know, you want to, you don't want to say any particular race, some kind of um, drug glorifying, you know, uh, gangster thing, and they'll come into you in a car with that play and right and say they're going to beat you up if this or that confronts you. Oh, if the police do it, it's, it's wrong, but oh, they can do it and it's okay. Like a new... Um, their uh, way of looking at things there, right? Um, and uh, uh, they're totally like uh, one-sided aspects, words, philosophy, uh, rules for me but not for you. Uh, and like how that's how I put it. And the person that tells you, oh, um, uh, and that was their rambling like us called and they call it rambling like a psycho that means you better shut up my people that whoever that I they will say whoever they whoever they lick the boots of or kiss the ass of the day indicate maybe they might get after me I uh, knows more than me oh they, they if if they had the if they had an enforcing group attached to who they are or what belief system they, they got, um, they would be coming to your house and coming to you on the streets and, and telling you, stick a finger in their face and tell you, you better shut up or else. And it's uh, all because why? Uh, you have critical thinking and because you believe something that's the truth. I mean, which is all over YouTube, right? Top 10, you know, pseudo, uh, serial killers of different races who did some pretty depraved things all over the world. And people did good did good things all over the world. There were there those two. And uh, high-profile murderers, thieves, use killers, and whatever country you're in, uh, right or wrong, or the standard of what constitutes brutality, right or wrong, or who's allowed to say what. Oh, depends on who got the most uh, King of the Street style buddies that can beat somebody else up for what they don't like, right? Or or if you police or whatever police or army comes into the play. Whether it's police, whatever enforcing class or belittling class or bullying class they represent, uh, whether it's police or army, any kind all over the world, you look at different kind of dictatorships all over the world that they use verbal bullying or whatever enforcing class. What is it? Whoever has control of the police, army, or has all the guns makes all the rules and can tell whoever to shut up. Or is, or the, um, yeah, they don't like that. That they don't like, but yet they can have their uh, buddies that march in the streets or don't like you. The ones, oh, they complain about they're not. They have to shut up and they don't like police or whatever. But they want to have another bullying class that has the power to beat up whoever says something they don't like, or if it's not beat them up, belittle them cancel them, degrade them, or if you have, if you're examined something like you're taught the right way to do, and not by academia or any extreme left or right or extreme race theories or extreme gender theories, and you take each of those and examine each side of the tracks in every group. Uh, that's psycho, really. Well, I, I'm not going to keep rambling in this video, but I had a video where I talked about 
say you had friends in a workplace that were a particular color that you impressed real well because you make their job easier, but then you have shit starters or the other race, right? That if you acknowledge that there's good that you work with of a particular race, right? That they're easy to impress and easy to please. And that protects you from the shit starters that are actually from that party or that race. And I did a video saying that, and I had somebody actually troll say, Oh, that's what drugs do to you, or that's what meth does to you. And I was, I, I'll find the comment and show you. And then I was making fun of that one day. I'm like, Oh, really? That's what drugs do to you? Does that what drugs do to you, really? Make you a critical thinker on both sides of the fence of all kind of groups. Really? Oh, you're on drugs if you're you're not one-sided like they are. You don't lick the boots of any particular uh, group like that. And you acknowledge good in everybody, but you acknowledge their shit starters in everybody. Um, that uh, you're oh you must be on some kind of drugs, right? And matter of fact, the ones that say that, they're the ones that are on all the drugs. Uh, because a lot of these people that I observed in, say, YouTube videos of different uh, extreme groups, they all fucking get stoned together, whether it's out in the streets or in academia, their, their parties and their drug binges, and have more than one standard say maybe even not to get too political the gun issue right all oh, these persons that have guns are violent or violent or whatever the ones that say the extreme gun control thing in academia right these people in the college they all get stoned together they have one rule as far as gun control is is concerned they have a rule for the people that they don't like that have guns which I could try to play ball with them and say okay not all of them are perfect. There's ones that maybe I might be a little creeped out by too. That nothing I say to them is is uh, right either. You know, I'll admit to that, and then still wouldn't be satisfied. But they got rules for the ones that they don't like that have the guns and say they're all bad. But then they got a set of rules for the people that sell them their drugs and their poly. Their the the one they have a, a standard that's different from as far as the people that also have guns that sell them their drugs at their parties at their ac co colleges and academia and all that shit and they'll either give you this blank stare like I whether Russ Limbaugh or Jim Quinn said give you this blank stare yell over top of you or just roll their eyes at you or interrupt you when you talk and um, radically change the subject or start calling names you know what I mean uh, and those people also, they figure they got they reserve the right to get them to beat you up or shoot you. But uh, and but if the police did the same thing to you, you're somebody that they don't agree with. Okay, the police can do that to you. Uh, their people can beat you up and shoot you, but the difference between if the police do it for them or or vice versa, double standards. Well, this is getting into a lot of stuff. The reason why I said that is I'm saying all the stuff you're getting into and belief systems you get into that they see that I talk about. It's a little extra information for my comment on this person I was saying an example. And, you know, I mean, that he won't tell me how many of those beliefs he has, but he knows that... Okay, before I finish this video up, it's like uh, another thing too. They're making every single ne negative comment on every video you said. After they saw maybe a few of your videos and they already decide you're somebody they don't like, right? Maybe move on and troll another channel. They're staring at you with some look on your face or movement of their lips. They're obsessed with you and they don't like you, so they're... What, what? Right, my one camera ran out of space, but to finish this off, I, if I didn't indicate clear enough in the beginning of this video, that nothing wrong with anybody uh, saying negative one-sided 
an incomplete and illogical comments without answering you back comments to your all your videos. I'm not saying that is wrong, but there is a point, right? You don't demand any nice comments from them. But after a while, a red flag goes off, a bell goes off inside your head. You can choose to block them or uh, mess with their heads a little bit, right? After a while, their delusional mind will say, you're a butt hurt. They're getting to you. <laughs> Not at all. They can, hey, they got their free speech, but when they don't answer you back, and then they frequently uh, give these cheap-ass comments, but yet you, you're not saying they can't do it, but if they they don't like anything you say or disagree with it, they can move on to, bye, go, bye, uh. but the reason why they're still there, they're making these faces with their lips, they're obsessed with you. Instead of just leaving and saying, oh, fuck this guy, you know, after they've seen a couple of your videos, make a couple comments and just leave. No, they got that, they got some kind of, made that they should maybe seek a little bit of professional help. And, uh, because they're obsessed with somebody, they're, they see that, uh, from your surroundings, they're jealous of you, that you have, uh, something that they don't got materially or whatever, even though you're not a rich media influencer, but you already got more than they do, and you're already happier than they are. And, and even as arrogant as you say, I am rambling like a psycho, I'm, I'm happier than they are. They give themselves away that they're insecure. And uh, when they're not even as linguistically clever as other trolls you might encounter. But in fact, most of them don't even answer you back. And then I like will do little videos and pictures and be like this. I'm like, um, and and when unlike a troll, tell also telling you get help or get person get professional help or whatever the hell. When they say it, uh, you ask them by what authority too. But if I were to argue this person is obsessed with me and needs professional help, I would also say, too, if you got that far in this video, that I don't even have faith in the that kind of system at all. That's why I wouldn't really, if I would tell them to get help, I'd tell them to get selective and don't take no meds or anything. But I had trolls that tell me, oh, I should take meds because I don't agree with them. But I, for one, if you got this far in this video, think that, the system where that's concerned it's big business to for everybody to get professional help but uh, if uh, it's something that's gonna cause them to any kind of things I'll say in parentheses anything that uh, they think that they're uh, not right somewhere that'll harm themselves or anybody else to get the professional help by all means but I also think it's big business for everybody and, and I can argue these people that attack you uh, they're equality extremists maybe they have some kind of problem and they're on and off professional getting professional help right and on and off this and that and they want you to be down with them they want to bring you down a notch and it pisses them off because like the equality extremist wants everybody to be a notch down to the where they are. They're too intellectually and uh, psychologically and physically lazy to try to better their selves physically or mentally or any kind of a way that they'll call you crazy or whatever way because they call you crazy but they're lazy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, that's a part of it. Um, or, you know, just plain jealous, and I can actually talk in parentheses about the story of the Handicapper General. These people want a Handicapper General, even though that's a fictitious story that I read in college in an English comp class, and I'll use that as a metaphor. Um, that, you know, these kind of people, these kind of narcissists, some are in academia, but if they're not in academia, they're, they fought, they, uh, follow these people in academia that 
uh, are very corrupt and they want to handicap in general. They want everybody below them. And if you were to listen to any of these people kiss the ass of any of them people or put energy, any energy into a question, they want to make sure that you're a step dumber than them. And I can list a whole shitload of people. And it infuriates them or whatever that, uh, that they uh, can't do whatever they can to you. They would like to get an enforcing class to shut you up or smack you down or belittle you or, or whatever they want to do. Uh, oh, he thinks he's so, so smart. Let's uh, have him beat up or have him arrested or get Mr. King of the Streets that we worship to beat him up or cancel you or get you fired, just uh, degraded some kind of damn way. Um, yeah, they don't want anybody that thinks they're better than anybody else. They, um, that's the bottom line. 